Right, um, making Y traces. Um, something that was taught to me a number of years ago um, by a friend on the bank. Certainly a way where you can save money um, over time, but this is how I make my Y traces. Number of components that you need. Once bought, they will last you a long time. Number one, a pair of crimps. And of course we're dealing with wire. So something to cut through the wire. Hardware wise, I always use £30 um, cable flex, which I think they stopped with making this year, but the principles are the same if you want to make crimped traces. Obviously, something to measure. A packet of crimps. Hooks. A swivel I use the diamond eye ones because they're easier to get the um, sleeves over and two sleeves as shown obviously your final one to go over your middle hook now when you're making your traces obviously many of the components when you lose if you lose the trace obviously in the water you're not going to get it back but um, you can salvage a lot of stuff from other traces like each time you you know if you bend the wire you'll get your swivel back your sleeves obviously if you have a sleeve the only expenditure you have each time is your wire obviously your crimps and your hooks and time and time again that's all you'll be buying to make your traces so next we'll move on to actually making the wire traces right actually making the wire traces first of all you want to measure out around i make 22 inch strips of the wire what you want to end up with is about a 19 18 inch wire trace at the end of it so that gives you enough wire to obviously work with so you've got 22 inches of wire the first thing you're going to put onto the wire obviously is crimp so it's a lot harder with a camera <laughs> and this is going to be your bottom hook now I always start from the bottom to the end and why is it you're obviously going to get you know your fingers stuck in the wire when you start off I do it all the time I've been doing it two years and I still end up this time of year with loads and loads of cuts and then you just push so it comes out the top bit there that's drawn so you can see it's been cased it in there if we can focus no nah. and then you just grab hold of the tag end and pull so you end up with a hook on the end and it's completely the wire's gone through the hook and back through the crimp. So you get your crimps and you make sure the crimp is in the middle of your crimp like that. And it's the first trace I've made of the year, so um I might be a bit rusty. And then you squeeze. And what I do is really you really squeeze obviously this is what's gonna land the fish. And then squeeze fairly tightly on the other side and you can see well that that crimp is let me go holding it in place so obviously you want to tag off that that loose end Would help if they were sharp. Let's see, not be used. There's six hooks, and there is one hook attached to the end of the trace. 
start at the top end. And I suppose you wouldn't even need the sleeves to be honest with you. I think they just make it a bit tidier. And this is where you're going to get, obviously, your fingers pricked. And the most important thing is not to spend, obviously, your hooks and your wire and your crimps are what are going to capture the fish. But the other components, you can spend as little as possible on it. Or as much as you want. I just buy the cheap you know covers probably too small these ones but they will go over the end as I say you end up with a load of pinpricks in your fingers but your second hook and this is where you're going to need To measure out when it will be at the other end, and I do mine about three and a half inches, three inches between the two hooks. So, start at the top end again. Thread it on to your wire, like so, and then you want about three inches between your top hook. So I always do it as like so. So the, the bottom of your hook, and it's obviously the size of the bait that you're going to use will determine. How close they going? They're gonna be. For me, that's about right. Top of the hook and the top of the shank are that far apart. So the top of the hook is three inches apart. Grab the hook. You go underneath the hook. And then around the trace of the hook three times. Grab it with your other finger, and then you go back through the hole and pull. And there you go. That hook now is attached onto the trace. Where your middle little sleeve comes in handy, and that just goes all the way down and then over. You just pull it, and that just holds that, makes it you know, neatens it up a bit for you. As I say, some angle, you know, it's each to their own, it's just how I was taught. So then you come to the top end and this is the bit that's going to attach to your line and you have to remember to do it in reverse order so first thing that goes on because you're going to push this back up towards the um, swivel obviously you're going to lock it in place with another crimp and then you've got your diamond eye. Now you notice the two sides of it are different. One thick, and then you've got a diamond eye bit. You want to go through the diamond eye bit like that with your trace, and then with the wire, give yourself enough to work with. You've got a couple of inches to work with. Back through the crimp. Grab the wire and pull it down so that you've got and I didn't think the camera was gonna have this much trouble focusing. So you got your swivel and then your grimp 
onto the wire. As I say, this video is just to give you a you know general idea of how to make it you know, a, a trace for yourself. You know, but I started off buying traces when I started, and obviously needs a couple of quid a trace. They're not always the best quality, and you can spend a fortune on you can spend a fortune on piking. When in reality it's one of the cheapest, you know, forms of the sport that you can do. You can buy bait cheap from from anywhere, you know, from the local supermarket or buy it in bulk online. And it doesn't have to cost the earth pike fishing. You can save a lot of money by doing things yourself. And they're not hard to make. I mean, like this video, about 10 minutes long. And I've, you know, first video I've been talking through it. But when you get up to speed, you'll be making traces sat in front of the TV in seconds. And then obviously the last bit is to push the sleeve over the crimp. And this is where you have problems. The wire. There you go. Slide it up. I know this does nothing, you know, nothing to, you know, if we didn't have this on here, you'd still catch the pike it just helps to protect the different things and these it all up and there we go one wire trace ready to go you got your hooks on that end which obviously when the video is finished I'll push them down and your sleeve and that's one 18 19 inch wire trace ready to go on the bank tomorrow